Welcome everyone to the Slender Arena review. That's right, the first Slender Arena game of the Slender Arena series of Slender Arena. Why? Because I guess I want to play some Slender Arena games. Anyways, well, let's get started with the Slender Arena review because I got 10 of these to review. So let's start with the first one. So basically, Slender Arena, what I can sum it up to for this game at least, is that it's basically a Slenderman clone. Now, for those who don't know what a Slenderman clone, Look up Slenderman, you'll like it. But anyways, for you, for those of you who don't know, Slenderman clone is basically just Slenderman, a Slenderman game, which is a Slenderman game is just collecting these pages and you're free. Or in this case of Slenderina, collecting said objects to leave. And it's an X amount, amount of objects, can be six to eight. It really depends on what the developer wants. So in this case, we've so got six, so basically, you, you get these items, then you leave. That's basically all it is to a Slenderman clone. As something is stalking you in the background. And uh, make sure you don't look at it too long. Because it isn't like you staring at it. It's like someone staring at you in the through your window, right? You wouldn't like that either. You'd probably go crazy on them and kill them. I mean, it's a bit dramatic, but you, you know what I get. You know what I'm getting at here. So, without further ado, I would say, let's start this review. So, let's start with gameplay. So, and when we open the app, it's a pretty nice thing here, you know, no big deal, you know, it has a little open menu. Yeah, it seems like a traditional horror game that you'll look at. Alright, let's click on it. Alright, look at that, four maps, you know, well, we'll talk about those maps in a little bit later. I'm going to have a little subject for that too. So, let's just click on the first map we see and then we're going to go on from there. Alright, difficulty setting. So, uh, just heads up though, I don't see anything else really different about difficulty other than it popping up more than usually does so that's up to you if you think that's harder to avoid but other than that let's get started with the game so right off the bat i can already tell you i am slow so slow seriously you're, it feels like you're a tank but except of a regular tank you're, you're a tank but that has legs like little legs ant legs so Yes, the, the controls are already really slow, and the worst part about it is, too, the maps are pretty huge. And that does not feel right with the gameplay. The maps don't complement the gameplay. The maps are way too big, and your character's way too slow. So therefore, this already creates a tedious task in getting said items. This is not really fun, because now you're going to have to sit there, go, Ugh, now I have to walk this way. This way. I got the item. Alright, let's turn around slowly. Alright, let's come on. Let's go. Move it. Move it. And sometimes the, hall the hallways are really long and you just sit there just kind of walking along and you just basically bored, honestly. So definitely this the gameplay is not fun. It's so it's just so boring. So I would recommend this. I really would rather have something smaller and a bit faster. However, I feel like this this is padding. And for those who don't know what padding is, padding is not the wall that you see in Asylum. Okay, I mean, that, that is padding, but there's that, that something different in gaming. Padding, in this sense, is to make the game last longer. Now, this might be padding. I can't really put my finger on it. I feel like it is being how long this feels and how tedious it feels. Usually with padding in the video game, you're too, doing something repetitively and it feels like it's taking your time. This is what it basically feels like, so I would like to say it's padding. It's not very good, so I don't know what to say about it. If you prefer this, you think the slow thing is your thing, hey, then this game might be my for you. So that's basically the gameplay overall. You collect items, it's really slow, the maps are pretty huge, so that's that's the gameplay basically. I don't think we need to go deeper, delve deeper into, you know, its game. So well let's talk about the monster itself, you know, the monster of the show. Slenderina. I hate her. No, seriously, I do not like her. I would never show her to my parents at all because they might die from looking at her for too long. And yeah, I just, she does not work very well. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what is it? What was it? She stand there like Slenderman as? No, she doesn't. And that's the issue. And like, I get it when you're trying to make something different in the video game to not make it look exactly the same thing. But this, this is kind of ridiculous. She has a thing where you have a chance to, when you turn around, she could be there. Now, that's fine and dandy. I can deal with that. That's not a big deal. But her issue is that she'll pop in your face just like, hey, what's up? How you doing? And you're just like, ah, it's a cheap jump scare is all I can say. 
for a game that seemed to be horror, cheap jump scares them something what it needs to do. Sure, I'm not sure. Do I get scared to get the point across? Yes, but I'm not scared of the action that took place. I'm just scared because I wasn't prepared for a uh, an action to happen right there. For her to just jump in your face isn't necessarily unfair, but it's just a cheap jump scare to get you there, and you're like, oh great, this is just that that got me. I can't believe it. it's like a think of it as a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare, just complete, not completely random in a sense, but it does happen at random. In a sense, I you know when they jump at you, that's what I'm that's what I'm pulling at here. But nonetheless, this game of Slenderina is pulling off randomness out of nowhere, and it just kind of throws you off guard because it's not hard. You could look away; it's not hard to do that. It's just the fact that you have to uh, you have to look around and you look for items. You could just pop out of nowhere, just in your face. That's just cheap. I don't like that. I don't think it should be like that. I don't. I hopefully this is different in the next game but this is what i'm looking at right now i'm taking a service value and i don't really like what i'm seeing and sadly that's just the sad part about this first game it is the first game but i'm judging it as a game and nonetheless but she she did scare me a couple of times so i'll definitely admit to that because she just popped out of nowhere i dare she popped out of nowhere like just drop a text hey what's up man how you doing uh, i'm doing good disappears all right, where'd you go then again hey what you doing oh god okay i wasn't prepared for you man i'm just out of dinner all right cool yeah, basically that's in the arena. All right, so enough about the slender arena and her randomness and blah 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 and annoyingness of randomness. I think I'm getting that straight. Thank you very much. Let's talk about the maps. All right, as I said before, I was gonna talk about the maps. There are four maps in total: the warehouse, the the hotel, the yard, the swamp. And yes, this is the way I kind of played them. So we're gonna talk about them in that order. So let's talk about them in that order. First up. The warehouse. The warehouse is really, really big. But yet I felt trapped. See, this map was the was when I looked at it. I'm like, oh my god, I feel so slow and I feel so sluggish. Everything is big. Why is it so big? Why is it just a long hallway? However, though, as much as it is huge and it's annoyingly huge, I was a bit trapped in a sense. I felt a, a little tension there. There was me and the monster, and that was it. And I was a bit scared. So seclusion really played well with me on this level here here though it annoyed me of her popping out of nowhere and the map being really big the fear of me being alone with this thing and me trying to get out did kind of bring it for volition so i'll give points to the map where i can because this definitely worked because it just worked it wasn't like it was out in the open it's like, it's like a slender man game this created a different feeling where you're trapped with the monster and seclusion was the name of the game and I like that. That was good. So, that I like this map. It's not my favorite. It's, I say it's the third map of my favorites. So, let's get on to the second map. The Hotel. This is a great map. Like, seriously. This is a great map. I like this map a lot. Because it's small. It's secluded. And it feels just right. If this game was just this right here for the four maps of this variant, I think it would have been better. I really do. Because the seclusion was the name of the game I said of the first map and it really does play well on this and not only is this map small it does complement the gameplay a little bit not fully but a little bit you're still slow as a tank with legs little legs and this game really feels like it's doing its job in a sense you know and I like it the game really feels really right in this area and I say it's my favorite map it wasn't tedious really at all she still did her thing of popping out of nowhere in my grill like that like see like that but i think this map really shows that seclusion is the name of the game for slender arena she doesn't really it doesn't feel like she plays well in big open areas but she does play well in secluded areas when it's just you and her like this i like this map a lot and i hope that there's more map like this so this is my favorite map i could say so yeah now let's talk about the yard the yard well definitely bigger than the hotel Things were a little bit more spread out than they feel like they should be. But I feel like it's a lot smaller than what the warehouse was. And yet, it was a lot quicker. And I got to things really fast. Now, granted, like I said, I didn't... And it was open. That's the only thing. It wasn't secluded anymore. It was open. And that was kind of the issue I had with it. It wasn't... It wasn't secluded. I felt safe, I guess, in a sense. Because there was, I guess, stuff around me. I could see outside. There was a gate. There was stars and stuff. I don't know what it was, but the, 
the name of the game wasn't seclusion anymore it was just finding objects and that was a little tedious as i said so this is the second favorite map because of how small it was and it wasn't tedious getting that many items it was tedious in the sense of already gameplay but for what it was it wasn't too bad so this game this map right here played it very well and i do like this map quite a bit so definitely my second favorite so not not a big deal i like this map it's it done the job it was a little bit bigger than i want but it did okay so you get an okay sticker here all right the swamp so the slender the slender man map i mean uh the swamp map i hate i hate this map this map is too dang big like really big this is straight up the slender slender arena should not be about slender arena should be about seclusion as i said in the first two maps this map glorifies the gameplay in the worst way possible and glorifies Slender Arenas were the worst way possible. All this combined can make makes it into the worst map on this app. I don't like this. It's everything so spread out. Everything feels so much bigger. You're slow as a walking a, la a tank with legs, and Slender Arena pops it in your grill every five seconds as she wants. So no, this game right here in this map is not a very good map. And I hate this map as much as I want as anyone else who probably played this game. This map does not complement the gameplay. It glorifies its horrible gameplay as well as just glorifies Slender Arena's horrible gameplay of jumping in front of you. This map really shouldn't be here. It's really just kind of there as, hey, this is like a Slender Man game, you know? So, nothing I really enjoyed about it. So this one was the most tedious for me and I hated this map. So this is definitely on the bucket list of low, 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 low. <sighs> All right, well, let's talk about the whole thing now. So, is this game a good game? <laughs> no. There's way too many flaws with gameplay and the monster itself. You can't really justify anything else other than what it brought to the table of what I said. Seclusion was the name of the game, which I liked about the hotel and the warehouse. And the smallness of the hotel really brought that to fruition, which is why I say it's my favorite. Everything else about this game really didn't feel so great how he would have more games after this like seriously i'm surprised there is nine games after this game oh god there's nine games after this oh god i'm gonna play nine more games after this oh god why do i torture myself <sighs> nonetheless this game it could have been better if the maps were a bit smaller and if you moved a little bit faster maybe this would have been a a great addition it would have been like a great starting off point but this is what the game is i'm just judging it for what i got what i played it's a little bit harsh a little bit yes i agree but however though this is what i was presented with and i played with what i got and it is the, technically the most updated version because you know the app store that's how it works and we'll see how that goes so yeah the game eh, wasn't good I'm just hoping the next game after this is not that bad. So, hopefully, Sunderina, the seller, is a good game. It's a good game. That's all I care about. As long as if it plays the way I said, like I said, it should be a smaller map, you move a bit faster, and Sunderina does a pop in your grill every five seconds. I'm pretty sure this can be a great series, but as it stands right now, this is what I'm looking at. I'm sitting here great. It's probably going to be like this because. Sometimes games kind of stay like this, you know, when it comes to at least Slenderman clones. But, who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm entirely wrong, and this game is actually really, really fun. The next game is really, really fun, and I'm like, I like this game a lot. I don't know. I just want this game to be better, and if it is, hey, you know what? I <laughs> shot myself in the foot here, I guess. Anyways, so I'll see you guys on the next Slenderina review of Slenderina The Cellar. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. It took me a while to do this one and it was kind of hard, but it, I got through it and I like what came out out of it. But I appreciate you for watching the video. I appreciate it more. If you like this video, if you subscribe. And yeah, I got a playlist for the Slender Arena and probably another video right next to me for the Slender Arena review. So I appreciate you watching my video again and thank you. Have a very nice day.